What you're about to watch is a super compilation of all my behind the scenes that I was supposed to do as individual videos, but because they're so dated now that it doesn't make sense to have them as individual videos, I just decided to do one bulk video that will catch us up to the most current times. So enjoy a super backlogged uh, video and I will see y'all at the end of it. <sighs> Hello. It's, it's package day. Woo, don't want to hear something. Yeah. Yep, there's Sheba. We, take off my editing glasses, got our packages in. And Sheba's also excited, right? Aren't you excited? Yeah. Yep, okay. <laughs> so, cute pup. So, <laughs> all right. We got our last two packages in. So let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. I'm definitely editing uh, the video that is coming out this week. And so let's go ahead and see what we got. Let me clear up some space real quick. Okay, so let me flip y'all onto the art table. Let me prop y'all up real quick. Eh. Tighten this down. Let me zoom out. Boop. Cool, cool. Half, half. Let me... Got this. In the background, you should be hearing my brother Josh stream. Pocket knife. You are where? I don't know right now at this present moment. So, I actually need to go get it. Alright, so. Boop. This should be what I think it is. I got it from Newark, of course. And. Yeah. So these are actually supports with a camera slider. Um, I didn't get them the first time around because I was like, oh, I should be able to jimmy rig uh, my tripod to support it. But from the footage that I got and for future projects that I was going to uh, use it for, that I am going to use it for, oops, I'm not good at this unboxing, I did not want to jimmy rig my current setup which is not the best it's not a tripod made for it and i'm using uh weights but yeah so this is the actual thing to support it essentially it just goes on the tripod and it holds it in place so we are excited about that we are very excited about that and then these are the mounting plates for it yeah but one thing at a time those came in, cool, perfect, grand. Put these back in here for now. And let's get to the second package real quick. The second package, which is right here. Oh, this is a bigger box and this one's a little bit heavier. <sighs> I actually can't even fit this on frame, so let me go ahead and move y'all real quick. If I can uh, zoom in just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So in this box is something that I wasn't going to upgrade, but I know I was going to have to with the camera slider because it just wasn't going to work. My other tripod I was using, it was not the best. It let me rephrase that. It's a good tripod. It's a very good tripod. It is made for cameras decently. I think I spent maybe like 25 bucks off of Amazon for that one. But this, this is, okay, this is a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Yep. Should you got both hands. This is the TP75 Professional Video Tripod. This is a big box. Is it really that? large oh okay oh god leave so it has its own case so that's good newer newer that's the brand okay um Okay, this is a massive tripod. 
<laughs> wow. Oh, and it has a an arm shoulder strap. It has a little zip pocket that comes with the instruction manual. Bubble wrap. Golly, this thing is huge. How tall is this? Oh, perfect. So it's a little bit taller than the work desk, which is okay. Um, because we can actually angle it. Now, if I do have to end up keeping it flat, I can always put it there and then work a little bit further back or find a surface that can support the camera. This is nice. This is real nice. This is real heavy too. Wow. This is real nice. Oh, yep, there we go. Let me grab y'all real quick so y'all can see this monolith. Do, 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 do. All right. So, here's the bag. It's a little bit... I don't know why the lighting looks that off. Anyways, this is the bag. Inside there is the instructions. There's the shoulder strap. Here, uh, see if I can set this down. Is the freaking mount. Oh, what the heck? Sorry. Didn't realize my hand was in the way. Here's the mount for the camera. Very robust. I'll look up and see what this is. But look at these legs. These things are massive. Does it open up like that? Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Look at the structure. I think it's like a, what is this, a five support beam thing? Ooh, this is nice. This is smooth. A few other things I got to look. I want to say this tripod is at least, oh, I have weights right here, I can tell you. 10, 15, is it 15 pounds? Yeah, it's about 15 pounds. This is a 15 pound tripod, good lee. And then, oh, the arm. This is just the arm for it. So like, okay, here's my other tripods, right? This is the one I used for a very little bit and then it, for some reason, the uh, head, could not support it. So then I, I'm using my small one. And this one did better than this one. But this one, obviously, you can see the leg bowing on the side. So I decided to use legitimately those weights. I used a uh, bungee cord, put both sides down on the hook here and the hook here to support it as it pulled down. And it worked for a bit, but when I was doing... um. The Sonic video, the tripod, when the camera slider like reached the end, legitimately started tilting like this. And I said, no, 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 no. We do not want to mess up any of our cameras or anything like that. And so I wanted to just mitigate that entire thing as a whole. So went and got this. Now, as far as like camera equipment, this is probably the last thing I, I will need for a while or I would like to get for a while because we now have a solid tripod. We got the camera slider. And my, one of my future projects that I want to do, that I'm going to try my best to get to, is going to require a very stable tripod for the camera slider for a very long period of time. So, I'm glad we got this. Of course, I'm going to do my uh, research, look at this and everything like that. Let's see how tall this thing can get. For reference, it's already up here to, like, this area, like, right here. Uh, this has one. Oh snap, this has one, this is one adjustment and it's already about five feet. Five, five feet, two inches. This is the second one. Oh, wow, how tall is that? Let me... Let me structure this real quick. Wow, that is 
actually crazy. How tall is this? Wow. How tall is this? Okay. So as you can see, this is about, is this six feet tall? Yeah. I think it's about like six, five. This is a six foot five inch tripod. Can it go any higher? I don't know. This is robust. This is smooth. What is this? Anyway, oh, that's the axis. Oh, that was real smooth. Oh, I like that. Anyways, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is a, a big tripod. Sorry, this is a very long video, but we got that. We got the arms. And essentially, I will hook this up later, but yeah, this is the, uh, the tripod. This is a massive tripod. Wow. All right, let me uh, take this down and I'll come grab y'all. But yeah, this is solid. Like I legitimately can't complain about this. Now, leg wise, it's not obviously like complete solid metal. I think these are like aluminum, uh, they're not hollow either. They're some sort of material. Don't get me lying to y'all. But I will put the link below, and I think I have a reference code or something like that. So that way, if y'all want one, it helps me out. Y'all get a discount. And honestly, it's the only way that I have a little for to get it, because I got mine from Jazza. So if you want to support him, please do. Yeah. Big old tripod. So I'll put this down, come grab y'all. And show y'all the the flex head. Do 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 do. All right, so this is the entire tripod head. This is like the adjuster, I believe, has an equalizer. Yeah, massive. So there you go. Oh, it says right here, I think. Oh, that's the quick release plate. So just want to give you that quick update that I got my stuff in the mail. Yeah, ordered on the 8th. Four days. Four days. Now, keep in mind, Newer has a shop on Amazon. So essentially, if they have it in stock on Amazon, they will fulfill it through Amazon and it gets shipped. So yeah, you possibly could get it quicker. Now, if they don't have it on Amazon, because I ordered mine directly from their website, but that's one of their fulfillment centers is Amazon. So four days, that's not bad. I have another equipment piece coming in. This weekend, hopefully it works out because I did order one. This is something that might be related. I ordered this, it's an adapter for a lens. I ordered it and this is why you always do your research because I did not do my research thoroughly enough evidently. Um, I checked a lot of pages and the page that I checked for my lens did not fit like they said it did. So always do your research folks, but that last piece of equipment should be here this saturday i got it for like four more dollars i got it shipped what 10 days sooner so I, I decided to do it but uh yeah that's it for this one i'm going to clean up all of this put them in the proper packaging i'm probably gonna toss actually i could use that box for the move i am moving again um I put up all the stuff where it needs to go and then I'm gonna get back to editing because we are in the last part of the editing of this video that will be out this weekend. I promise it'll be out this weekend. So uh, yeah, I will see y'all in the next video. So, whew. sorry, this is also late. My package came in that should have, let's see if I push y'all right here, the correct adapter for my uh, camera lens because I got a Helios 44 lens. If you don't know what that is, it's a whole thing. All right, let's see if this is it. Package is a little beat up. Let's see. Hey, Sheba. Sheba's like right here. She's off camera. You can't see her. I'd flip it. Well, I guess I can show y'all real quick. She's right there. See? Look. Sheba. All right, put y'all back real quick. Boop. So this is what I got. The 
photo, the photo X, photo pics, whatever adapter. The box is really beat up. 39 millimeter. Let's see, does this get damaged by anything? Nope. It's a little ring. I will end up flipping the camera once I get it all sorted out. Let's see. Essentially, what it is, my main camera, my Nikon D3500. It's an adapter lens that goes right here on this. <laughs> that kind of just lines up in place. If I can get it to line up in place. Yep, there it goes. Perfect, just like that. I'll grab the lens that it's supposed to go on it, which is from my Zenith 3M 50th anniversary from the USSR camera. And this, oh, dropped it. And I reach it. Okay, cool. Oop. That came with my lens. Man, I am dropping everything. It is my Helios 44, which I've been doing some research, been trying to get it. I got it off of Facebook. Moment of truth. Oh, does this work? Oh, it does. Now, from what I've been told, is that it only has enough room for a macro. Yeah, so look, it's on, it's good. Viewfinder is not on because I don't have batteries in it. But for one, my understanding is that I cannot focus past a certain point because unlike that lens, I'll show you real quick. Boop. Kind of blind right now, y'all, sorry. Cause I'm like this lens right here, where when you adjust, it goes out. You know, you can do that and change your focus and everything like that. That's not how this lens works. So, you know, lens does not go out. If you look on this side, this side actually goes in more. So like, it kind of goes in. Let's see if I can get a good angle, it goes in. And then when you adjust backwards, this goes out towards the camera body. So because of this, from what I've been looking up, it won't let you do, as they call, infinite focus, where you can keep adjusting it. You can only do oh so much. So that means the shots I'm going to be able to capture with this lens on this camera are going to be essentially micros. So look, so I, I can't put this on because the adapter's on but are gonna be like micro shots, which are gonna be good for me personally for my B-rolls. Now to get this off, I'm gonna switch real quick. To get this off is that little pin right there. You have to push that in and then you'll rotate this off and go from there. Now I have a Helios 44, which is very important to note because it is a 39, I think it's a M mount. Versus, I guess, the regular Helios are 42. Or the Helios 44-2 is a Helio is a 44-2. So that's the big thing. But anyways, I just want to show that I will end up messing around with this later after I take care of some stuff, i.e. the video that's going to be coming out today, Saturday, July 15th. So I'm going to finish working on it. And then I'm going to do the adult things and finish my resume and cover letter and job application and stuff like that. And then I will, finger crossed, depending on how the rest of this day works out, because it's already about to be noon, I think, I will work on the videos and these little blog posts that I'll just throw out so that way you guys know. So yeah, this one might be a little bit later. So if it is, then the video came out Saturday. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, so I'll see y'all. Put the camera down. Oop. Glasses on and transition. Oh, but before I do that, the mount was only like 10, 12 bucks. I got faster shipping because my availability for the next few days is actually open for like four days. So I'm trying to do as much as I can productivity wise. And yeah, otherwise it would not have gone here until maybe the earliest, the 19th, which is like four days from now, which is not gonna give me any time to mess with that at all. Or the 26th, which definitely wouldn't have gotten me any free time. So I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.
Hello, hello, hello. It is I. I am back. We today actually just got, let's see if I can post y'all up right here. Hands free. Okay, perfect. Kind of. From boop, Blick Art Supplies. This is something that I have talked about it in my other videos and everything like that. I got, oh man, how long ago was that? A year or so now? Golden Food Acrylics. I got the black and white, and I've been mixing it with my uh, other paints. Well, now, she was here. There she is. In this box, Fragile, Fragile, I got the primary colors. A lot of packaging, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We got jars, folks. Jars of the primary colors, which doesn't seem too bad. We got cadmium red, medium hue. These are also all heavy body acrylics. Um, it says right here, I'll put it up there for y'all and I'll read off this jar. Compatible with golden, oh, can you see that? Yeah. Compatible with golden colors, medium and water clean with soap and water, use above 49 degrees. Sweet. So we got ourselves cadmium red, medium hue, cerulean blue, chromium blue, and then last but not least, we got cadmium yellow hue. Yeah. I got these because, as you know, these are primary colors. I was also recommended to get like tertiary, not tertiary, well, tertiary, secondary, and um, off colors. So for example, instead of this one, I was to get like magenta. I realized, is the camera over here? It is over here. My fault, y'all. The camera is definitely over here. Um, but you notice that little haze? My light screen protector is all effed up. Anyways, I got these to pair with... Uh, whoop. The black. Golden fluid acrylic. And if I can find it, the white one we used in the space video. I can't find it off the top of my head or actually nearby, but it's neither near her th or there. Oops. Pretty much, well, I guess I should find it now. I'm actually confused where it went. Huh, where is it? Well, it went somewhere, and I'm kind of seeing to find it. This is probably gonna be one of the few cuts I actually do. Sorry, Shiba. Not found it. There we go. Right here. So we got the Golden Food Acrylics. Black, white, red, yellow, blue. You can mix these beautiful things and go. Now this is also 16 fluid ounces. I was trying to find these in that. Actually, I don't even know how this looks when you open it. Ooh, oh, this is some thick old pink. Nice. So from what I did, my basic research, you essentially can extend these paints to get this here. Um, you can either add more water or less water to these to get it to be a little more fluid or add a, a medium or extender, which I believe I have somewhere nearby. Hmm, actually, is this it? Yeah, right here, medium. This is matte medium, however, so it will extend it. Um, it does lower viscosity, increase transparency. Non-yellowing, water resistant when dry. Um, you can thin up 25% water or with airbrush medium, add gloss medium for set finish, compatible with all Liquitex products. Good for creating a matte finish, blending as a collage adhesive. Anyways, this plus this equals these. That's what I was aiming for. Now, this was 26 bucks. 
27 but I believe I got this one half off or 40% off. These three, however, including shipping, was over $100. Or, well, technically at 100 and then tax. But this is 8 ounces. You could definitely extend this out to get this consistency. Probably to 24. So you can get one and a half a bottle of these from this. And if I remember correctly, these were $30 each. So why am I doing a super long video? This little random behind the scenes one. Because these three colors, in accompanying what these here and this here, is going to help us get much richer colors, much better pigment. And once I make those colors, I'll put them in little uh, sample cups. That way I can retain those particular colors for whatever project I'm working on. Um, I would like to use these for the next few commissions. I'm actually, if everything goes well, one o'clock now. Is it really one o'clock? One o'clock now. I will get a couple of hours to work on next week's video. That's the goal. Next week's video might be late, which is very frustrating. But hey, it is what it is. All right. Let me take you off of this. And uh, yeah. So long story short, golden fluid acrylics. Boom. Boom, bada bing. Actually, probably be better if I went like this, huh? Boop, boop. All right, that's pretty much it. Enjoy this beautiful behind the scenes. We're at eight and a half hours. Um, timeline is rendering for the first one. That way I can scrub through it, see how it looks. And then after that, I'll add the background music. I'll throw in a few more clips, check that one out, and then I make sure that it renders properly. And after that one's done and I watch that one, I will watch, I will probably have to change some parts to do a third one. But if everything goes well, I should have it done by tonight to have it premiere either Saturday or Sunday. But in the meantime, I will also be working on the next video and the next video after that. And probably the third one after that. It just depends on, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so far, so good. Okay, so I spent so long doing this. Let me change the audio source to speakers and I gotta turn off the, I'm gonna mute this real quick. Okay, the side is muted. Okay, yeah, bet. All right, sorry, you definitely just stared in my face for this entire time. Rich Beast, Dear Mood, Cinema. All right, ready? You probably can see it through these glasses. Oh, mute. Okay, ready? Unnecessary. I am so proud of it, but it seems so pointless, but I, I love it.